what we are going to, to stand by. But I want to appreciate the government of Uganda. This message that was uh, communicated by Dr. Jasper Abora. I want to request my Lord Bishop and Chairperson Board and the editor to follow, make a follow up very seriously. I, I, I sit and I read government programs on a daily basis. Government seems to be broke, I'm not afraid to tell this. <laughs> yeah, they can mention words, but if it is not followed, they can say they're going to give us 1.8 uh, 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 billion like that. We need serious follow up. Because there are many projects that are promised, not fulfilled. But we want to pray to government of Uganda that see Kurbodi with good eye. Because I've been there for almost now serving to start the politics. Other schools have been renovated using government money. But company has not got money for this school. And want to play, pray our thinkers. Take it in addition to what my Lord Bishop is going to say that we don't need segregation and distribution of resources. Let them look at all schools equally. And that can only come from a leader like me. All schools will be given equal opportunity in terms of what? Resources. And so that, because they are serving the, the, the same children that are studying here, uh, are the same children that should be benefiting from this. My appeal, because I am born here, a lot of people will have vast piece of land here. As we wait for government to help us do some program, I want to implore the administration that we let's make a basis of our land. You, 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 you had, uh, I've read also government putting tight conditions that all schools will be now procuring from satisfied farms in terms of procurement. But we see those are t tactics of stealing government money from schools. If we have our farm, we can then produce our maize locally to save us from procurement process and that takes a lot of money. We will be saving. I know we have a lot of land here. We take like only even 50 acres of land and plant maize in a season or two like that. We shall be able to feed students here without any problem. We can only buy maize for what? Even plant maize. That is what other schools are now going to do. And, and they are that, 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 that doing well. That is a local economic development. I want to present teachers for work you've done already. I now know these candidates, they are ready to do examination. And today, I'm happy that my Lord Bishop has come personally to say blessing. I want to present teachers because I'm always here. I've been the chairperson of the academic and disciplinary committee of the board for the last eight years here. I know we have qualified teachers, committed teachers, and they have taught children already, they are only waiting to write examination. But my advice as a teacher now, and who's also a parent to candidates. 